Oh, hi guys, it's Michelle. As promised, we are going to be painting Corona Cow. Um, most of you only have primary colors and the black and white. The people that have bought the kits, some of you might have other colors. So this is the cow we're gonna be doing, um, but we're gonna do it in black and white instead of brown. So the story behind this picture, I didn't really paint it as a Corona Cow. I painted it for a party a long time ago and I kind of messed up on its mouth and its nose. So I painted it in white so I could let it dry and then I was gonna fix it and I never got around to it. So it just ended up looking like a cow wearing a face mask. So I thought it'd be a nice little laugh, if you will, to get us through this. So, all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with the background. So you want it to look like a sky. So I'm gonna take a bunch of white I'm gonna paint my canvas white. Get it on there nice and thin. And you're gonna paint it all white. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you can see a little outline of something in here, it's because I recycle canvases. have Susan here helping me today so I'm doing this by myself so hopefully everything's in focus and in the frame all right so I didn't rinse out my brush I just added some blue to it I'm gonna pull it through that white like this you're gonna get a nice sky look nice sunny sky Maybe with a little bit of clouds in there so don't over blend it Don't focus a lot on the middle part. You really want just the sides to be showing, so. Once you get that all covered, like that. Oops. I don't typically have another canvas sitting next to me, so I'm trying to be hard. Be careful not to hit it. You guys don't even know how much I miss teaching you. It's getting kind of lonely here at the studio. All right. There we go. It's on there pretty good. Again, make sure that your paint is nice and smooth. You don't want big globs of paint on there. Okay. I'm gonna rinse out my brush. Really good, don't leave paint sitting on it. I'm gonna rinse it out really good and I'm gonna dry it off. And I will come back and start teaching you in about 20 minutes. Actually, in my world, 20 minutes, yours is going to just continue. So now would be a good time to pause and let this dry. Give it about 10, 20 minutes and then we'll come back and we will work on the cow. Alrighty, I'm back. It should be nice and dry by now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that big brush again, make sure it's got all that blue and white out of there. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of white and just a tiny bit of black. Remember, you can always add more black. It's real hard to fix though. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the shape of the head. I'm going to make basically a head shape like that. Just kind of sketching it out right now. And you're gonna put some ears on it, like this, off to the side. Okay. And then I give it, maybe come down just a little bit more. And then make sure to give him or her some shoulders. Okay. And there's your basic cow shape. So now what I'm gonna have you guys do is take mostly white with a little bit of black, like that, you can see it. I'm gonna start painting in choppy little brush strokes like this. See how they're kind of separated like that? You can have it come off to the side like this so it looks kind of fuzzy. Okay, 
a little bit more white, a little bit of black, not too much. You can always go back and add more. We're trying to just make kind of a black and white cow. We don't want him to necessarily be gray, unless you do, but it can be gray too. Oops. So I'm just gonna fill all that in like this. If you still see blue behind it, you can either go over it lightly like this, or you can wait till we're done and then we'll cover it so we can let it dry a little bit. So there's his shoulders. I'm gonna do the same thing with his head. So I'm gonna start at the top. Just kind of fill him in. And you can make them mostly white on one side and then add black if you wanna do it that way. It's really up to you. Get them all filled in. Remember, come off the edge so he looks kind of fuzzy. You can even give him some kind of crazy hair. You're not really gonna see the hair much, but you can give him some crazy hair. Kind of like you guys did with the chickens. P.S. The chickens cracked me up. Thank you for sharing them. And I love the fact that some of you actually shared pictures of your real chickens at home, so that was funny. Chickens crack me up. All right. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna fill in the ears a little bit. You don't have to fill it all in if you don't want to, because we're gonna put the pink there. Okay. What you can do is just take some plain white and cover this part with white like that. Because once that dries, we're gonna put some pink on top of it and it'll cover a little bit better. All right, there we go. I'm bringing the ears around the edges. Like that. Okay, so he's nice and filled in now. kind of going through and smoothing out that chunky paint. Like I said before, if you have blue showing through like these patches, you can either do it now and fill it in or you can wait till it dries. So I'm gonna pause there so you guys can get caught up and let it dry and we'll come back once it's dry and we'll start working on more. Don't forget to rinse out your brush. Alrighty, I'm back. So it's nice and dry now. in some paint that was wet I thought it was dry don't do that all right so I'm gonna switch over actually no I'm not I'm gonna use my big brush and I'm gonna do his eyes now I think the cutest thing about cows are their eyes so we're gonna go up about right underneath the ear and you're gonna give them big huge eyes so you want to go up and like this almost like a football Get them nice and filled in. Kind of play around with the shape. If it's easier to do this with a smaller brush, please feel free to move to a smaller brush. Make them a little bit bigger on the edges. Get them nice and filled in. Don't need to be perfect. Okay, then I'm gonna rinse my brush out really good. It's like a koala. 
almost right now. I'm going to take a little bit of white. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna put this little patch of chest hair on it. Kind of in a V shape, however you want. Gotta come out to the side like that. put a couple little spots on your cow like I did here you can or you can go over and you can start filling in all those blue patches again just don't use a lot of paint you just need a little Now I've rinsed my brush out again. I'm gonna take a little bit of white and a little bit of red and mix it on my plate. I'm gonna make a pink. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in with pink now. If it's not covering the gray, you might wanna paint a little bit of white there and let it dry and then go over it with pink. Because when you need a light color, it's hard to cover a darker color underneath it. A little bit more pink. Get that in there. There. Okay. If that's too much pink, you can go back over and put a little white in there. It's really up to you however you want the ears. Now I'm going to rinse my brush out one more time and I am going to do white right here, I'm like in a V, maybe fill it in, have the little hairs come out the side like that. Still haven't changed brushes, I'm still using my big brush, I'm just manipulating it however I need the line to be. If I want it short, choppy like that, I'm turning it at an angle. Don't pay attention to too much detail or pay too much time. Spend too much time, there we go, that's the word. Spend too much time up there because you're gonna cover that with flowers, okay? So now you kind of have to decide if you wanna actually make it a Corona cow or if you want to make it a real cow. Okay, so I'm gonna do the Corona cow because that's what I promised you guys. So I'm just taking some white and I'm gonna go along my cow's jawline, and I'm just gonna put a line across there and cover it. Hopefully we can all look back on this quarantine time with some good memories of spending some time with our families, creating these fun little goofy cows. Okay, obviously I not worn a mask, so I'm gonna straighten that out, out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now, we really don't need to let anything dry. We can keep going. I'm gonna move on to a smaller brush. Just a small brush that I have, it doesn't really matter. And you're gonna start making some flowers. So, since we're working with primary colors in black and white, we're gonna make some pink, or you can just use red. What I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five circles. I'll come into the same point and I'm gonna fill it in. Okay, so there's a flower. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of red and blue and I'm gonna mix it and make a purple. If you wanna lighten your purple and make it more of a, a lavender, you can add a little bit of white to it. 
I'll do another flower the same way here. One, two, let me make some more purple, hold on. Well, these videos are made for everybody to be able to do, so if you are a little more advanced than this, please make your flowers a little bit more detailed. I'm just kind of teaching to a basic, a basic level so everybody can do it. Okay, so there's my purple one. Do you see how I overlapped that? Okay, rinse my brush out again. Maybe I'll just do a little white and a little yellow. Maybe I'll put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lines like that. Maybe round them off a little bit. Like that. Kind of just go crazy with your flowers. While I'm letting those dry, I'm gonna take a little blue and a little yellow and mix some green. And I might put a leaf maybe right here. Maybe one up here. So I did the leaf was kind of the same shape I did as the eyeball. I brought it down and then I brought it up. Do that. Do another one right here. You could make one of these little guys right here. Very easy. All you do, wherever you want it to go, you do a little line coming down and then just do a little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Something like that, okay. You can lighten that green up, add a little bit of white, so it'll show up a little better. It'll make more of a mint green, like that. You could add a little bit of black, and again, I'm gonna stress, you guys do not wanna use a lot of black. Black likes to take over everything, so just be real careful with it. Maybe I'll put another one right there. I don't know. Let me just have fun with it. Now would be a good time to pause. I'm gonna keep going, but if you need to catch up or let it dry, this would be a good time to pause. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, after they've dried a little bit, is maybe I'm gonna put some center of my flowers in. So I just got a little bit of black on my brush and I'm just gonna tap the center in. So it doesn't necessarily have to be dry for you to do this. Just tap, tap, tap. You don't want the center to be perfectly round. If you go outside and look at flowers, none of them are like that, right? So maybe I'll just do that since I've got that on my brush. I'll do that to all of them. Just put a little center in them, like that. Okay. You can also take maybe a little bit of white. I rinsed my brush out again. Take a little bit of white. Pull some highlights around your leaves, or I'm sorry, your petals. If you wanna do that. Blend those colors in. Like that. I got a little bit of black on there, it's okay. I just blended it in. Give it a little bit of shadowing. I'm just gonna kinda go with that now. There you go. Take a little bit of that white and put it on here. There you go. So there's your flowers. Okay. I'm gonna rinse my brush out one more time. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little bit of white, just a little bit. I'm gonna go around my cow's eyes. They should be dry by now. Just to give them a little bit of a, a pop. You don't have to do this part. cleans up those lines a little bit. Okay. Maybe blend them in 
just a little bit. Maybe he needs an eyelid. That's the cool thing about acrylic is that it dries quick enough where you can do stuff like this. And it also dries quick enough that you can cover it if you mess up, so. Okay, you don't want him to look like zombie eyes. So you're gonna take your brush and put a couple little dots in there. Put a little bit down here. thing I'm gonna do to this little guy is give him some eyelashes because you know those baby cows have those giant eyelashes that we all love. So right off here I'm just gonna give, give him some eyelashes maybe. One, two, three. Play around with that. Maybe four. Okay. So that, my friends, is your Corona cow. I'm gonna take a little bit more black and white on my big brush just to chop this up a little bit more, make it even with that. That's what I'm doing there. Anything else you want to do on your own is up to you. If you don't wanna do the mask, you can Google um, what a cow's a cow looks like and you can try to do its snout and mouth by it uh, by yourself okay I would love 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 to have you guys post these or text them to me um, my phone number is all over the Facebook page um, or if you're watching this on YouTube you can just google the angry easel and the phone number will come up please text me the pictures and I love to share them with everybody everybody's commenting and loving them so we will uh, be posting another picture tomorrow, okay? Thank you guys again for supporting me. I hope everybody stays safe and well. Bye.